Hello friends, welcome to the channel Mechanics of Solids. In this section, we will see the basic equation of elasticity. That equation is also known as equation for linearly elastic isotropic solid. Or other way, we can call that equation as stress and strain in terms of elasticity and Poisson's ratio. So, what is a linearly elastic material? From the stress strain diagram, we understood that within the region OA, the material will be perfectly elastic or material will be linearly elastic from the stress strain diagram. Now we have under term uh, the isotropic solids. Isotropic solid means within every point of the body, there will be some properties. The properties at this point will not vary in any direction. So, here we have a property stress. For example, this stress will not vary in any direction. That means that this material is isotropic. That means that the properties are independent of direction. Then that material will be isotropic. Here we will deal with the basic equation of elasticity. The basic equation of elasticity states that epsilon xx is equal to 1 divided by e sigma xx minus mu into sigma yy plus sigma z z. This is the basic equation of elasticity in three dimensional case. Fine. Now, if we are considering the plane stress and the plane strain condition, we will be having only two variables. Let us consider the x and y plane. Then in two dimensional case or in plane stress or plane strain condition, we can write epsilon xx is equal to 1 divided by e into sigma xx minus mu into sigma y y. Okay. Now I will go to the derivation of this equation. For that I am making use of the basic principles or basic equations. I have elastic, elasticity is equal to axial axial stress divided by axial strain. Axial stress divided by axial strain. From this I have epsilon x is equal to sigma x divided by e. This is my first equation. Now I have another equation for Poisson's ratio nu is equal to lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain x direction and y direction. That means that in the y direction I am taking the lateral strain in the x direction I am taking the longitudinal strain. From here I have the equation epsilon y is equal to nu into epsilon x that I can make it here and again substituting the value for epsilon x here I can write epsilon y is equal to nu into instead of epsilon x I can write sigma x divided by e ok no confusion in that so this is my case my x axis is here my y axis is here and my z axis is here there will be three normal stresses along this axis one along the x axis one along the y and one along the z the normal stress corresponding to the x axis or normal stress along the x axis will be sigma xx the normal stress along the y axis will be sigma yy the normal stress along the z direction is equal to sigma z z now see if suppose sigma xs e, xx is acting on a particular point, I am not considering sigma yy and sigma zz. Here sigma xx is acting along the x direction. Due to this sigma xs, the strain will generate in all the three axes. Here the strain will generate and the strain along the x axis, I can write it as epsilon xx. Here the strain along the y direction I can write it as epsilon yy and here strain is equal to epsilon zz. So under this sigma x there will be three strains, one normal strain and two lateral strains. So whenever lateral strain is considered, see this equation, here stress is along the x direction, strain I got along the y direction. 
similar case like this see see this case here the stress is along sigma x is along the x direction and the strain is along the y direction here i can generate an equation for epsilon y y see epsilon y y how can i take this epsilon y y epsilon y y is equal to mu into stress sigma x x divided by e according to this relation no confusion in that here i have to fix a negative sign why because the stress is acting along the x direction it is y and e is a dark or orthogonal to that so i need to write the negative sign here here also okay fine now epsilon is a is a i can write epsilon is a is a epsilon is a is a i can write that is equal to minus mu into what is the stress acting here stress acting is sigma xx divided by e same thing now what is this uh, epsilon xx okay fine epsilon xx is equal to see stress along the x direction and strain along the x direction this is the equation i need to consider that is equal to sigma xx divided by e okay fine now this is okay fine now i consider sigma x similarly i need to consider the stress along the y direction so my picture i can draw here this is y direction this is x direction and this is z direction here sigma yy is acting corresponding to that there will be a strain here epsilon xx here also there will be epsilon yy here also epsilon z z will be acting so due to this stress three strains will be there here i can i am taking the first condition stress along the x direction so i am writing epsilon dash y here epsilon dash z z here epsilon dash xx here i can write the equation stress along the y direction i am writing for this epsilon here epsilon xx is equal to stress is along y i am taking the stress along strain along x direction so minus mu into sigma yy divided by e now considering strain along the y direction here strain along y direction and the stress along y direction no need to consider poisson's ratio directly sigma yy divided by e here i can write epsilon is a is a is equal to minus mu into sigma yy divided by e i am taking the second condition stress is acting y direction so i am taking double two dash double uh, double dash here okay for our convenience now let us consider the another case here here sigma z z is acting sigma z z is acting because of the sigma z z there will be a normal strain here epsilon z z here there will be another strain epsilon x x here there will be another strain that will be what uh, lateral strain epsilon y y i can write equation for that here also epsilon x x is equal to minus mu the stress is sigma z z sigma z z divided by e here epsilon y y is equal to minus mu into sigma z z divided by e Eps, epsilon z is equal to stress is acting along the z direction no need to consider the poisson's ratio sigma z z divided by e now i can make use of the principle of superposition now according to the principle of superposition i am calculating the net strain along the x direction according to method of superposition i can calculate a net strain along y direction according to principle of superposition i can calculate a net strain along z direction also first i will calculate the net strain along the x direction so principle of superposition i am making use of principle of superposition 
strain along epsilon x strain along x axis that I can write here strain along x direction let the strain along x direction be epsilon x x that is equal to here in the x direction I have the strain what is the strain I am having epsilon dash x x epsilon dash x x is equal to sigma x x by e I can write here epsilon dash x x plus here strain along the x axis is epsilon 2 dash x epsilon 2 dash x x plus here strain along the x axis is epsilon 3 dash x epsilon 3 dash x x now I can substitute the values of epsilon dash x epsilon 2 dash x and epsilon 3 dash x here for our convenience I am showing this 2 dash here everywhere here 3 dash or otherwise you will get confused so 3 dash ok now I can substitute the values on substituting I will get epsilon xx is equal to epsilon dash x is sigma x s by e plus what is uh, epsilon 2 dash x that is minus nu sigma y y divided by e plus minus nu sigma z z divided by e the common terms I can take outside 1 by e into sigma x x minus nu into sigma y y plus sigma z z this is our equation similarly I can make use of the principle of superposition along the y direction in, in that case I will consider this term uh, this term and uh, here this term adding these three I will get the net strain along the y direction that is say, 1 by e sigma y y minus nu into sigma x x plus sigma z z this is the second equation and now considering the strain along z direction I can make use of this term I can make use of this term and I can make use of this thing adding that I will finally obtain epsilon z z is equal to 1 by e sigma z z minus nu into sigma x x plus sigma y y this will be the final equation ok fine this is the equation basic equation of elasticity for linearly elastic isotropic solids in 3d case